Hello guys, welcome back to Next Cook. My name is Ryan Phipps. Today I got a fresh and vibrant Thai curry called Penang. Malaysia has its own version of this curry, but this curry is Thai and is absolutely beautiful. So today I went to Rusty's Market, which is the local market here in Cairns, Australia, and I picked up some beautiful ingredients for us to use today. I got lemongrass, red onion, chilies, garlic, ginger, coriander, peanuts, all the good stuff. It's absolutely amazing. So what we're going to do first is we're going to make our paste. To make the paste of the curry, you've got to add all these beautiful ingredients that we got today into a RoboCoop or a food processor and blend it all to the, together. So what we're going to do first, we've got our beautiful coriander. I just set it here in cold water first to get all the sand, sand out and just let it revitalize. So I'm going to take off the stalks first, this stuff. My mom can grow that. But then I'm going to use all this beautiful stuff here. So not the leaves per se, but this stuff here. That's beautiful. Into the food processor it goes. I'm going to leave that now. That can be for our garnish. Alright. Next, I'm going to get a garlic, break it up a bit, and then I'm going to get about four or five cloves out of this. So I'm going to do my same technique again and crush it. Alright. And then chuck it in. Alright, I'm back. <laughs> Alright, so I got some beautiful ginger here. I'm gonna just break up a couple pieces of this. So normally, with this, it's all about measurements. Boring measurements, right? For me, I don't use measurements. You cook with your eyes, you cook with your nose, and you cook with your ears, and you cook with this. Cook with if you want. You can cook with whatever you want, alright? But it's all about learning and looking, alright? So I'm, I'm gonna just add a couple pieces in, and I'm gonna be smart, and I'm gonna be smart. If you think ginger's gonna be too strong, don't add too much in then. So then I'm gonna add a little bit of that in. And then, next is lemongrass. And then, gonna have a red onion. And then, normally the recipe doesn't call for chili. Alright, but I found the penne curry really, really sweet. And for me, I wanna balance out some of that sweetness with that spice. So I'm gonna cut this off, and then add that in. Okay, and then next, what really makes a penne is kaffir lime leaf. Kaffir lime leaf is this certain variety of lime that comes off the tree, so it's legit just the leaf. So I'm going to have a couple here, one, two, three, four, five, going to have about five, alright? And then next, this is what makes it. Penne is legit just curry paste but with peanuts, alright? So we're going to add these beautiful peanuts in. If you want measurements on this, that's about 200 grams, that's all I know. And then next, a little bit of a weird one. People, this is a bit foreign to people. But this is shrimp paste. It's prawn paste. It's amazing. It smells really strong, but it really balances out all the flavours. So I'm going to add some of that in. Two teaspoons. About two teaspoons or so, thanks mum. Add that in. And then, a little bit of beautiful fish sauce. If I can get it open. In. Here we go. Not too much. And then that's on. All you have to do, this is the paste, we go whiz it. Look at that. You could probably whisk it more, but that is beautiful. Just smell it. It's actually amazing. It's so good. Okay, so the next thing we're going to do, we're going to fry off our paste. Then we're going to add our coconut cream and all that stuff to get it nice and turn it into a curry. So the first thing you've got to do, you've got to just a bit of vegetable oil into a hot wok and then we're going to fry off the paste. Not too hot, but then we're going to fry off this beautiful paste that we just made. So it cooks off all those harsh flavours, but it leaves the vibrancy and the amazing thing to it. Cheers. <laughs> you actually read my mind. You actually read my mind. I needed that. <laughs> it's amazing. A tea towel is crucial. It's just absolutely crucial. It's amazing. Honestly, it's amazing. It's just so versatile. Honestly. <laughs> you can pick up, you know, hot stoves with it. 
pick that up, you know, wipe the of it, don't know why, um, wipe down the bench, wipe down everything, it's beautiful. So versatile. It's sort of like moisture is coming through it because we're cooking out all those juices, the juices are coming through. So the moisture is starting to come out of it and those are all the flavours are seeping out. So that's why we fry it off. We couldn't just add it to coconut cream. It wouldn't work the same way. Once this fries off enough, and we can see that all of the moisture came out, comes out, and it's absolutely like looking really good and cooked through, we can start. Next, but we're, we're gonna add our palm sugar. So this is dark palm sugar, and then we're gonna add fish sauce and caramelize that to get some flavor going. Then we're gonna add our coconut cream and our coconut milk. Make sure it doesn't burn. But it's okay if it's frying meat. Don't be afraid of heat. Heat is so important. Look at that. Beautiful. Beautiful. Alright. Next, I'm going to add my beautiful palm sugar straight in. I'm going to add that in. And then add some fish sauce. I'm not going to be too fanatic about how much I'm going to put in. I'm going to be generous. So this, the fish sauce and the palm sugar, it's going to caramelize the paste. So that's where the sweetness comes on. And as I was saying before, it's really sweet. So that's why it is, because of the palm sugar. So just mix that through, let all the sugar come out. It should turn into a liquid form of sugar or syrup form. So the next thing we're going to do now that this is caramelized together and all the flavors are seeped out and it's beautiful, we're going to add our coconut cream and coconut milk. So the measurements for this, basically, it's more coconut milk than coconut cream. So I'm going to add two things of coconut milk. All right. And then one thing of coconut cream. So I'm going to mix it together first, the coconut milk, incorporate it. All right, and then the cream. That's the cream. It's beautiful. It's amazing. I like cream better than milk, but the two and two go together. So mix those through. And it looks a bit white now, if you can see. It looks a bit white, but then once it simmers, all the flavors are gonna come together with it, and it's gonna be amazing. Okay, so shit happens. We're out here in Cairns, Australia. It's, we're in the tropics. It's raining season, so it's wet now. Um, but you gotta adapt and overcome. So basically before, the, the film cut out, but what I was saying is that we gotta leave that beautiful Penang curry to simmer. So you gotta let it simmer for 30 to 45 minutes so that all that flavor goes through. It becomes dark, and then it becomes beautiful and amazing. So that's what we want. So what I'm gonna do to serve with it, you can basically serve with it whatever you want. Duck, chicken, um, barramundi, which we're doing, you know, snapper, any type of fish. Okay, so basically barramundi is local. Not local, you can find it in different places, but really significant to Cairns. It's a mud barramundi, it's, it's local, it's a beautiful, and it's, oh my god, look at that. I got some vegetable oil here, I got a hot pan, a little bit of oil, put that in. Right, make sure you have your umbrella. And then, I'm gonna give it a little season. You don't want the water. <laughs> gonna give it a little season of salt. So just salt, nothing really spectacular, put that in. Hot pan, and you want that to fry away, that's beautiful. Okay, so it stopped raining now, I can put this away, thank God. I can <laughs> All right, and then get your spoon, flip it. Oh, that's amazing, come close. Come close. Look at that. That browning. Oh. Gorgeous. That's what we want. Beautiful fish. Absolutely beautiful fish. And then, now that's flipped over, a little bit of butter in there. Alright. A little bit of butter. And I'm actually, I'm just going to break a little bit of this chilli. This chilli and chuck it with the butter. And that should hopefully infuse a bit with the fish. Okay, so this fish is absolutely cooked perfectly now. What I'm gonna do, I'm gonna play it, just put it on a little bit of chucks cloth so all the oil runs off, right? So it's not too oily and buttery. 
but all that butter has absorbed into the fish as well. So put on a little bit of chocolate bar, like so. Turn this off, don't need that anymore. And then that we can put onto our penang curry and it's absolutely beautiful, that's amazing. It'll go perfectly with it. Okay, so our beautiful penang curry is finished. It's simmered down, you can see it's reduced and it's actually thickened quite nicely. It's thick and beautifully. That's the curry that we're going for. And all the flavors seep through it and it's amazing. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna serve it with some beautiful jasmine rice. All right, down we go, just a little bit. And this is just normal jasmine rice, cooked to perfection. And then our curry, trying to spill any. Over the top we go. And then our beautiful barramundi, just gonna go over the top, like so. And then, and that is a beautiful penang curry. Thank you guys for watching. Please like, subscribe, and comment. This is a beautiful penang curry, traditional recipe, easy. And if you're bored here in isolation, you can do it, and it's absolutely beautiful. It's, te it's technical, but it's vibrant and amazing. Thank you guys for watching so much. See you next time. Salamat pop.